complete in him, February 29th, in heavenly places. And ye are complete in him, which is the head of all principality and power. Colossians chapter 2 verse 10. Christ's likeness in us is a grand truth, a practical truth. I am not merely a thing that God loves, made to be left the sport of Satan's temptations. I am a child of God, begotten unto a lively hope, big with immortality and full of glory. We are to dwell in God, and God in us. Purity in us is like purity in God. Love in my heart is a living principle, like the love in the heart of God. And all the treasures of heaven are at my command because I am redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. We are sons and daughters of God. Satan is the destroyer and Christ is the restorer. He will make us partakers of his holiness. God does not make light of sin, but he seeks to rescue us from sin. There is not in Jesus Christ harsh, stern repulsiveness or resentment, and if we have the character of Christ we shall have his mold. There is no forcing us to holiness, but he wishes us to imitate his character, to admire him, true, pure, generous, and loving. Happiness is composed of little things and great things. If we would become like Christ and receive his fashion of character, we must in little things train the soul to daily progressive sanctification. We have no time to lose. Would you impress the seal to obtain a clear impression upon the wax? You do not dash it on by a violent action, but you place the seal carefully and firmly and press it down until the wax receives the mold. Just so the Lord is dealing with our souls. Not now and then, but constantly the new life is implanted by the Holy Spirit after Christ's likeness. Acts make habits and habits constitute character. There is no fear of overlooking great things, but there is peril in overlooking and undervaluing little things. God is the God of the whole man, and the little things are essential. God is a God of the whole man, and not a God of the part. He made all, he redeemed all, and he must be served in all, and then he will bless all, soul and body. Our entire life will then be glorified, and every breath, every sound, every touch will be peace and light and happiness. Letter 25A, 1895